Morales. Let's do that question as well. Because John, right. John can touch on it as well. Uh oh. Question from Phoebe Morales uh, is for John. Yana and Tiago have announced their first child, four months pregnant, but Yana just fought Irene last month. How does the state commission not catch her pregnancy? Okay. Well, what has occurred is you have a lot of things going on with laws and rights and things like that. And really what occurs is they have a a, um, a medical uh, sheet that the fighters have to fill out saying, you know, what they have, all this stuff, things like that. Uh, when it comes to testing for pregnancy, it used to be that all women were tested all the time. And then it was, you had certain ones coming out saying, well, you're testing me, but you're not testing that man right there. Why? You know, if you're going to test me for something, you should have to test him. And there was a whole legal thing about, you know, well, you cannot just randomly test someone because they're a female. I'm not saying I agree with it. Wow. I'm saying this has occurred. <clears throat> and so many of the commissions said, okay, we're going to put it on here. Have you had, are you, is there a chance that you could be pregnant or any of those things? Now, if the woman goes no, then they're going to say, okay, we'll accept the fact that you, you're not pregnant. But this is where lawyers get involved in things and you go, how stupid are you? That you're going to fight. This is against someone's right. This is against someone possibly losing something that would have been very uh, impactful in their life and special in their life without knowing. So they used to do pregnancy tests that it's not happening anymore. So that is how you have something like that and it can occur. John, th here's the other yeah. issue I have with what you are just, I'm not, look. <clears throat> Go ahead. Is what happens if the fighter finds out that they are pregnant after they checked that box and said no, and then they lose the baby. Do they come back and sue the commission or do they sue the promotion? Like that's, are you, are you waiving all your rights when you say you check that yes. box saying no? You're checking that box saying no, I am not. So they're allowing you to fight based upon your word that you say, no, I am not pregnant. But then the, the fighter doesn't really know, obviously, as we're seeing right now. <laughs> the fighter Hold obviously. On. <laughs> well, you don't know. You really don't know, did she know or not? And uh, maybe she didn't. And maybe, you know, I'm not saying she did. And so it could happen. But it used to be that all women were given That's a pregnancy a test by the athletic commission to make sure that they weren't, because obviously it's fast. It's no big deal, but there were people that complained about it. There were people that brought it as an issue based upon it being sexist because they were not making the men do it. And, uh, the commissions, instead of making the men do it, just said, all right, well, you know, we'll change it up to, we'll, we'll go off. You're, you're the one responsible. We're going to ask you if you are, and we'll go off of that. This is a, uh, this is a funny story. Um, Hopefully, Coker doesn't get mad at me for telling this, <laughs> but but the Gina Carano fight and the Chris Cyborg fight, I want to say it was G, not Gina, it was uh, Chris's corner had called Coker like right before weigh-ins and said, "Hey, the fight's off. She's pregnant," <laughs> and he just she he wasn't died. She, yeah. but he just There's about growing. died. He just shit himself. Obviously, it was a joke. I think they were laughing in the background, but I think it was Chris Cyborg. And her coaches and stuff that they called them and did that, but it was it was funny. They were telling me the story. I think I was up on the um, I was up on like a panel answering questions about it, and it was just hilarious. It was funny. We we're talking about it on Showtime. <laughs> funny stuff, man. But I think can you imagine though, as a promoter, you're like, this is my main event. This is the first main first event. Time. Females, women fight. Yeah. Oh, just. But it was great. It's everything. Uh oh. <laughs> had there ever been a fighter you genuinely didn't like or get along with that you had to raise their hand at the end of a match? Josh Thompson. <laughs> Josh Thompson. That's dude. I was yeah. gonna say it, man. <laughs> like, yeah. There's this guy. His name was the Punk. That's why I started laughing. I was like, I don't know if I should do it or not. <laughs> so great. I knew, Look, I, knew it I, I, I never, I never, I, I looked at fights in a different way than most people would. I never looked at do I like someone, do I not like someone. I looked at I, I had a job to do, and that's all I thought about. I didn't care who was fighting. If I liked the person. It didn't matter if they won or lost to me. If I didn't like the person, it did not matter if they won or lost to me. You know, there's going to be fighters that you look at and you go, hey, our personalities don't mesh. Okay. That's just the way it is. But if they won the fight, I gave them all the respect in the world. I treated them the way I would have 
treated anybody else because you're a professional and that's what you do. So that's it. All right. Next. Next question. And uh, this question from Big Hayes. Would you rather be the guy who beats John Jones or beats Khabib? Uh, I'll take either one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Uh, I would say John Jones. Um, and it's not just because I'm not being a homer in this situation. I would say I would say I'd rather be the guy that beats John Jones because there's a little bit of that that Floyd Mayweather feel I think for a lot of people with John Jones. And so there's a lot of people out there, say half the people out there that want to see him lose, and the other half want to see him win. And so with Khabib, I think everyone kind of still wants to see him win. And so beating that guy is like, uh, you know, um, I also look at like when John says it all the time is. Knowing that you're going to try to beat Khabib, he's the most dominant fighter I think John said that he's ever seen. Absolutely. You know, and so when it comes to being a champion, he's the most dominant fighter that's ever stepped in the cage. He's dominated every 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 fighter he's been in there with, pretty much. You know, whereas John Jones has had a couple fights where they were back and forth, and he should have lost potentially. You know, the first uh, Gus fight, people thought he lost the Reyes fight. People thought he lost uh, the Santos fight. You know, there was fights in there that, that people thought he lost. So there's that. Those are those people that are saying like, "Oh, well, we don't like him because of whatever he's done in the past." But they continue not to like him. I think the fight over John Jones because he he was so dominant for so long you know, with his athleticism and his skill set and all the things. Um, I I would say John Jones. I don't think there's a difference as far as I look and say. If I was going to say, who is the guy that if you could get a win against would prove how you know special you were. It's either guy. Yeah, that's you know, true. But I, I, I would say, you know, I, I, I like uh, everything that John does as far as his fighting style. I think he's a super intelligent uh, fighter. But the dominance that Khabib has shown throughout his fights would be, he would be the guy that I would say that's the one that I would take. So. Yeah, baby. Who are you going with? Well, let's go mybookie.ag, use the promo code Wayne in, and we're going to go ahead and give you our odds and our picks on these fights. And you guys can uh, get a little extra cash if you guys use that promo code Wayne in with mybookie.ag.